Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing iPad tricks that you're probably not using on your iPad on iPad OS 13. These tricks will make your life easier and help you a lot on performing different tasks on your iPad on iPad OS 13. Starting off with the first one. Did you know that you can copy things on your iPhone and paste them on your iPad or vice versa, of course, as long as they're connected to the same iCloud account. So here I have my iPhone. I can go ahead and here copy an image, click copy right there, and I wanna paste it here on the Files app on my iPad. You can see if I tap paste right there, it will paste the image that I have copied on the clipboard of my iPhone. So as long as you have both devices connected to the same iCloud account, you can copy and paste things between your iPhone and your iPad. Now here is a very cool PDF trick. So here I have a PDF file on Safari. It has 196 pages. But what if I wanna extract just a few pages from this PDF? I don't need the complete one. I just need like three or four first pages. So all I have to do here is tap the share button and then go ahead and tap the print button. From here, you will need to go to range. Now on the range here, you can choose from which page to which page you want to extract. Let's go ahead and choose here the first three or four ones. Let's choose here four one. Okay, so we have four. And now what we need to do is go back and from here, just pinch out with two fingers like this. And now we have a PDF with four pages. So you can see right there, we have two, three, four pages. Now what we have to do is just tap that share button right there and click to save the files. And now we can save this file with only four pages out of those 196 pages. Here is another very cool PDF trick. So you have a PDF file on your Mac that you need to sign. Of course, you can use the trackpad or a mouse, but an iPad would be, of course, much better. So all you need to do is go open the PDF and tap on the markup button. From there, go and tap on the signature and choose your devices. If you go to devices, you will see a list of your devices. You tap on your iPad, and then this will show up on the iPad. All you need to do here is just basically make your signature here, click done, and this will be automatically transferred to the PDF on your Mac. So all you have to do here, just sign and you're good to go. That all will be automatic. It will just show that page, remove it once you're done, and you will have a signed PDF on your Mac. With iPadOS 13.4, Apple has brought some really amazing features to the iPad's cursor. These features will help you a lot on like navigating, doing different things on your iPad, of course, while using a mouse. So here are a few of them that are very, very useful. So let's say you're on the home screen and you wanna press the three detach menu of any of these apps. All you gotta do is just right click on any of the apps as easy as that. That's how easy it is to bring up any 3D touch menu. You wanna to go to the app switcher, just drag down like this. So just drag the cursor as far as you can right here and you will go to the app switcher. Now, of course, you wanna close any of the apps, just tap hold on it and just swipe it up just like this. That's of course very, very easy. Now you wanna invoke the control center. All you have to do is just put your cursor right there at the corner. You can tap right there on the battery percentage, but you don't have to be that precise. You just drag your cursor right there or you can drag it on the other side to bring up the notification center. That's really, really cool as well. You can also go ahead and rearrange apps on the home screen. So just tap and hold on one of the apps and just go ahead and drag it like this and you can rearrange apps on the home screen. That's really, really cool as well. Now, if you're on an app, so let's say here we're on Reddit and we wanna bring up the dock, all you have to do is just slide your basically your cursor down here. Don't put it right here at the home bar, just slide it down here on the side and you will see the dock. Now from here, you can of course drag any of the apps and put it on the split view like this, which is of course, again, really, really cool. So very, very amazing features on the cursor on iPad OS 13.4. You have other stuff like, of course, you can drag here and here to move between these. You can of course tap them grab them right there to place them anywhere you want. Very cool. And again, you want to go to the home screen, you just drag like this and you're good to go. So some really, really amazing features on the cursor with iPadOS 13.4.
Another very cool feature of the iPad on iPadOS 13 is called Hot Corners. So what you need to do is head on to your settings and go to Accessibility. From here, go to Touch, go to Assistive Touch, enable it, then go down here and enable Dual Control and go to Hot Corners. Now on Hot Corners here, you can choose different actions that you will perform by simply dragging the cursor of your iPad to one of the corners. So here, if we go to bottom left, you can see we have an action set here to, to basically take a screenshot. So all I have to do is just place the cursor right here and it will take a screenshot of my device. Now, of course, from here, we'll have the ability to choose how many seconds it will have to wait before you taking that action. So if you want it to be faster, you can of course choose there like 50 milliseconds and that will be really, really quick. So you can choose four different actions for four different corners of your iPad and take like quick actions just by using the cursor. Just place it there, don't need to click or anything and it will take that action. Now, a really, really cool trick that I showed before on iPhone, it works on the iPad as well. And that's, of course, clearing the RAM memory. Now, this trick is really awesome and very easy to do. So you can see right here on my iPad right now, I have like 263 megabytes of RAM memory. I want to clear some RAM memory. All I have to do here is just one simple trick. Go ahead, open the camera app and just go ahead and close the camera app. You can see right now I have 870 free megabytes of RAM memory. As easy as that, you can see 900 now. You can free more than 500 megabytes of RAM memory simply by opening and closing the camera app. And as I said, this will work on the iPhone as well. With the split view on your iPad, you will have, of course, two apps splitting the screen. You can make one smaller, the other one bigger, or you can have both of them splitting the screen 50-50. But what if you want to add another app? You can see right here, if I try to add a third app, it will basically just replace one of these. But if you go ahead and release this in the middle right here, then it will turn that into an app card. So you will have basically three different apps on the same screen right here. Now, of course, you can move this around and you can hide here. Just slide it like that to hide it there. And when you need it, you can basically show it again. But it's just like that. You can have an app card and have like three apps at the same time in one screen. On the split view, you can change the sides of the apps. Just tap right there and you can change which app on which side is. So of course, even if one is bigger, one is smaller, you can still change the size, basically the side directly from that grabber. Just you see that grabber at the top, you just grab it and you just push it like that. Now, of course, you can also turn an app into an app card. So if you have like an app here on the split, you can just bring it down here and turn it into an app card. Or you want to put it from an app card to the split, you just drag it right there at the corner and it will have it on the split view. With iPadOS 13, Apple has brought a very useful floating keyboard to the iPad. It basically allows to type with one finger. So you will have to tap and hold here and then it will show you this button that says floating. If you go right there, it will show you the floating keyboard, which you can also move around and place anywhere you want on the screen. But there is a very easy gesture to invoke that. Just swipe in with two fingers like this to invoke the floating keyboard or just swipe like this in order to invoke the full size keyboard. On the keyboard of your iPad, you can swipe down like this, let's say at the T right here to show number five. So you can see right there, you will see like, like a shadow of the number right there and you can just swipe down on the key to basically place that number there or any of the symbols right here. Now, if you also go to the symbols, then you will have the option to do here the same. So you can see if I go to any of these symbols, I can go ahead and swipe down like that to show the other option. And if you go to one of these, like let's say here, the dollar sign you can tap and hold, then it will show you other signs of other currency. And you can tap on any one of them and release them from here. Now, a lot of these will have like different options. So if you tap and hold on any of these, it will show you like other options that it has. You can see right here, it shows you basically other symbols that you can go ahead and add right here. Now, of course, not all of them will have other symbols, but a lot of them do have other symbols that will show up simply by tapping and holding on one key. 
So that is it for this video guys. These are some really useful iPad tips and tricks that you should know and use on your iPad on a daily basis. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys on the next one.